I was going to talk about something totally different, and I was going to talk about demo derbies and all this wonderful things, and then, as happens, Ken Melman, my doppelganger, people, uh, who was George Bush's campaign manager and uh, former leader of the Republican National Committee, came out today. No, 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 that's a boo thing, because see, for 43 years of his life, he worked against the cause and now he's trying to apologize for it and say, it takes people some time, it takes time. I needed 43 years of voting actively and helping people vote actively against gay rights while I was sucking dicks in bathrooms. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> so anyway, it's not a banner day for gay rights. I don't want to claim him. But anyway, <laughs> just gonna chat, Sarah's getting, are you missing something? What, oh, sorry. This is all going to get very moving in, in a second. <laughs> Bend over. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, it got me thinking about coming out and how, you know, it's hard to come out and we all... Not we all, I can talk about myself. Like when I was, before I came out, I didn't want to be picked on, so I would often pick on weaker and more Nelly people than me in the high school and junior high just to make myself feel better. And I thought, well, that's all great and good, but if you're Ken Melman, you've been doing that on a national level for 43 years. That doesn't seem right. And then Erin Markey and I were rehearsing yesterday. She'll be coming up soon. And uh, we were talking about coming out and how you're at your parents' house and some, they find porn in my case, or I don't remember what hers was. And we were talking about that first experience of falling in love. And she was like, well, it's all fine because my first girlfriend is a boy now. And I said, oh, that's funny too, my first boyfriend is an Episcopal priest. Which is true. And then Aaron left my house, and I, I, I thought, here's the thing. My first boyfriend was an asshole. Abusive, horrible, and years later he tried to like, after he was an Episcopal priest, tried to like call me and be like, I feel so guilty, I feel so guilty. And see, I'm doing it now, I've turned it into a shtick. I've turned that whole relationship that was really horrible into a shtick that I can stand on the stage at Joe's Pub and perform for you. And the thing is, though, is that I realized what I forgot about was that he was the first person who I was ever in love with. He was the first person who I ever made out with. He was the first person I ever kissed. And uh, I think we should cherish that moment of that first moment when you first fall in love, which often for gay people happens later than straight people. And so for, in my case, <coughs> Tim Salverson took me to the Picasso sketchbook exhibit at the Palace of Legion of Honor in San Francisco. And after the exhibit, you can start playing. Let's get some mood music here. Because see, after the exhibit, he was like, do you want to go to the beach? And it was like 9 o'clock at night, and I was like, sure. And on the beaches of San Francisco with the Golden Gate Bridge, and the lights of Marin in the background, I had sex for the first time. And fell in love for the first time. And I think that's a very important moment, even though I hate this man today. And this is what I wish. I wish that Ken Melman, the former head of the Republican National Committee, feels that feeling one day before he dies. So he can only enjoy it for 24 hours. Because fuck you! Go back to the good thing. That moment where you first fall in love.
too hard to take. Yes, 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 this is what I think about. Do you remember when we're sitting there by the water? You put your arm around me for the first time. You made a rebel of a careless man's careful daughter. You were the best thing that ever was. time you may arrest Thank you.